Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is a general reading from now to the end of September. This is your present position. If the present position does not make sense to you, in my readings, it means that you may have been watching this reading too early. If you look at the date stamp below, that's when I am uh, filming and uploading this video. So if the present position and does not make sense to you, uh, please put it in a playlist, come back at the end of September. And if the present position um, does not make sense to you at that point, this is definitely not your reading. Okay, starting off with your present position right here, um, we have thoughts and the number 16, which is seven in numerology. We have sudden wealth, which is two or number 11, two in numerology. And we have Knight of Swords and the High Priestess in the reverse position. Knight of Swords is in the upright position and High Priestess is in the reverse. I do put the cards in the upright position for you so you can follow along in the reading, but I put them in the holder in a certain way so I know that they're reversed. Uh, Spirit, can you bring forward the present position for Cancer? Why is Thoughts here, Sudden Wealth, Knight of Swords and the High Priestess in reverse? Uh, tell me about the number seven, the number two, the number 11, uh, bring forward the energy for Cancer. Um, they're in the present energy in the month of September, Cancer. Um, there is, for literally, um, for, for, you know, I, I don't read these cards, the, the Kipper cards, uh, literally, but, um, in this situation, as I pulled the Sudden Wealth card here, it did feel like there are choices to be made in regards to um, wealth and creating wealth and also sudden wealth coming into your life. So for some of you, it does literally mean money it, uh, and it is unintended money, unexpected money. It is sudden wealth that is coming in. Now, for some of you, it has to do with money that is happening uh, in your life because um You've been working on something and there has not been an expectation that it would produce uh, abundance. And um, and so there is unexpected uh, income coming in there, money, sudden wealth. There's also money that is owed to you that uh, that is coming to you. So all aspects of money literally are there. Now, in combination with the thoughts card and sudden wealth card here, um, it is. It has to do with your circumstances, and it has to do with um, uh, uh, someone in your life that is. And it does feel like one person. It could be. It could represent family, but it, it shows also support. So here in the um, in the present position, people are thinking about you a lot. And people, and in conjunction with sudden wealth, people are thinking about what they want to do for you. And so um, that wealth of abundance financially also could be represented by people that want to do things for you. Or um, uh, like if you have a business, they may want to patronize your business, right? Uh, uh, utilize your business services um, because they like you, they they like what you represent, they like who you are and what you, um, uh, again, I was going to say what you represent. So there's a level of integrity and beauty and authenticity that they can see in you and you have done a great deal to um, to impact their life and it just feels like they just want to give back. So all of that is sitting in your present energy in the month of September, from now to September. Here we have the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess in your energy too. Cancer, what the hell, man? High Priestess in reverse. You know what that means, right? Cancer, you never want to have High Priestess in reverse because what it means is that you're using your mental energy and not your intuitive nature. And here we have the Knight of Swords in the upright position. So you're, um, so while, <laughs> Cancer, uh, so while you have this kind of good juju, J-U-J-U, -J -U, happening in your life and kind of this reciprocation happening in your life where you have not had it happen in, um, in, in quite some time in your life, uh, sorry, Cancer, playing about with the cards here, trying to get it to look straight on the camera, but I bet you it won't when I look at it. 
but but it's interesting because you've got kind of two aspects of your energy going on we've got what people think and feel and want to give you and, and what is happening to you because others are um uh giving to you for lack of a better word but then we have you on this side completely closed off um you are uh guarded you are making very very um you're cutting things out of your life and uh th there is and you're not doing it with your energy of high priestess energy you're not doing it with your intuitive energy you're doing it with your mind and um does it need to happen that way i don't know when cancer has high priestess in in the reverse and the Knight of Swords in the upright position, the combination of the energy is very harsh, right? Because um, they're not tempering the cutting out of what is what needs to be cut out of their life. They're not cutting it out with grace. You're cutting it out with the kind of like F you, um, you know, <laughs> that's what that sword is. Uh, when it's not with the high, when the high priestess is in reverse, it's kind of like, you know, I don't care. You know, when you push cancer to a certain point and cancer has to react or act to, you know, because cancer gives a lot of second chances or has a lot of, um, what's the word, uh, um, thoughtfulness and um, understanding in their energy. And so they give and give and give until, uh, or, or not even give, but they, they are very understanding until the point that you when you push a cancer you push them over the edge so they have a lot of tolerance you have a lot of tolerance of a lot of things and it feels here that you've been pushed to the edge and you're just swiping that knife and you're beheading people not literally cancer but you know what i mean um so that's in your present energy in your, I want to go into your challenge before I go into your strength. So in your challenge, interestingly, is occupation and, and the magician. And um, all kinds of energy coming out for you in the month of September. So this may be one of the reasons why you're, you're very much in your head cancer in the, from now to the month of September, throughout September. You're not in your intuitive energy. You're making a lot of decisions in your life. You're cutting things out of your life. Um, you are, uh, Spirit is saying you're trimming the fat. You're trimming the fat in your life. You are going lean, lean, L-E-A-N, lean. Um, uh, so you're getting rid of waste, you're strategizing, you're implementing uh, controls in your life, almost fail safes in your life. You are looking at outcomes, you are looking to improve certain situations in your life. And so here in the challenge position, you know, um, cancer, you're extremely smart. But there is a big shift in your energy that others can feel. You can't feel it because when you shift from your heart to your head. So heart energy is definitely your spiritual energy. Um, it is your intuitive energy. Uh, I'm not going to say solar plexus only just because it just gets too confusing. But whenever you're in your heart energy, you're in the flow of the divine. Whenever you're in your head energy, you're making decisions for your physical life. And what we have here in your challenge position is nothing but physical energy. It's it's your you're looking at for some of you this is again this direct kind of um meaning in the kipper card here occupation. You're looking at your uh work and what you do for a living and here we have the number 34 which is 7 and you're looking at your choices. You're looking at what you like and what you don't like. You look at you're looking at what you want to create. You're looking at your resources. You're looking at what is what is the um I just need to turn this to me a little bit more. What is it that creates um, a spark and a light in your life that will um, that you can continue to put your energy forth and you can you can um, have that ever expanding energy that just seems like a bottomless pit for you where you can just reach in and, and you can just do things um and again, it's one of the things that you're cutting out of your life. You're cutting out, you're making a very severe decision 
or hard decision or hard-lined decision about your occupation. Whether you uh, manifest that in the month of September, I'm not sure. I think some of you do. But for the most part, what it shows is that you are being very, very decisive in the month of September. But it is sitting in your challenge energy. The reason why it's sitting in your challenge energy, because you're using your head and not your heart. Is that wrong? Not necessarily. It's just that others can feel it. So you may get some criticism from the peanut gallery and the peanut gallery do not like you when you're not when you're in, in your head energy um, because your head energy is very uh, it's that crab, right? That crab energy, you know, the pinches on a crab hurt. You've ever been pinched by a crab? Bloody hell it hurts, right? So when you switch into your I've never been bitten by a crab cancer but i can imagine it hurts so when you switch into your head energy uh for people that are around you soft cancer goes away and hard shelled uh cancer comes out and so you can do damage right so when you're when meaning to others around you they feel it they don't like it but you do what you need to do cancer this is your life not theirs and um just because they don't understand your energy it doesn't mean that you should not be in that energy when you're living a physical life you and you've got to make physical decisions about your career yes there's some spirituality going on there but when cancer switches out of intuitive energy into a head energy um people often will criticize you and that's the challenge that i feel here that people are giving you their feedback and you're not really asking for it. You're like, uh, I'm grown. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I know what to do. And uh, yeah, you're not used to seeing me this way. Well, you know what? Get used to it because I got shit to do in my life. Excuse my language, Cancer. Um, let's take a look at what's going on in your strength energy for the month of, from now to the end of September. Wow, look at this. Number eight, 17, number eight in, in uh, your strength. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> so much energy coming off of that. Seven of Cups in the upright position and the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Uh, Spirit, do you want to bring forward the strength energy for Cancer for the month from now to the end of September? Um, this gift energy here is beautiful. Um, again, what's coming out in your energy so strongly is that people are um handing you things that they believe that you deserve and it's coming from all areas of your life um it could be in relationships it could be things that are owed to you but very very strongly it feels like um it's difficult for you to receive what is being given to you uh but it's sitting in your strength position because the way it's being given to you is through love that's what it feels like and um and so you're going to and it's a lot i feel like you're receiving a lot from now until the month of the end of september not that it's going to end in september i'm only reading until the end of september because i felt here a glimpse of the future here and i can feel that abundant energy coming to you through whatever it is that you're creating through these relationships it's very significant relationships that are coming into your life or have just recently come into your life. And um, I don't believe you understand the ramifications of the impact that you have had on these people's lives. And so they are wanting to give back in their way. And I just see you receiving. And I feel like the more you are just yourself in these relationships here in the Seven of Cups, the more that there is to give um you're in the flow you're in the flow cancer and what's interesting about it is that you're not in the flow where you're creating anything just by being you um being the kind of energy that you are um sensible sensitive humble uh understanding um faithful hopeful full of gratitude full of love um it you know people are just wanting to give back and it and it just feels like um the more you give you're getting you're getting it back tenfold and and you know what's so funny about the energy 
is that um, uh, it's hard for you. It's hard for you to receive from all areas. And uh, so here we have the King uh, of Pentacles sitting in your energy. Um, this represents, uh, um, first of all, I thought it was you. But as Spirit is going on with the reading here, Spirit is showing me somebody in your energy that um, wants to take care of you. King of Pentacles is sitting in your strength position and it's not your energy, it's somebody else. And so that could represent, again, a person. It can represent a love interest. It can re represent family. It can represent uh, an employer. But it is somebody that wants to, uh, that sees, sees your value, sees your worth, wants to um, support you on all levels, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And I feel like this is more than one person, but there's one in particular right here sitting in their energy. And they're very, very serious about um, wanting to... Uh, um, uh, Spirit just told me angel investor as well. There's also an angel investor. So for those of you that are, uh, you may be on a board. This is very specific. So give me, give me a second here, Cancer. But those of you that are, you may be asked to be on a charity or on a board for a charity. Um, uh, you may be an angel investor yourself, but I do feel that this is not you. I do feel that this is somebody coming in to give you give your wings flight so um, somebody that can see your potential but knows that you need help and to to reach your potential and this person is coming in here to do that that's really uh quite a stunning energy to have in your strength position again cancer i've never had that type of reading for anybody your readings really just do blow me away expectation in the outcome we got 28 the number 10 in the outcome we have uh eight of swords in the outcome in the reverse position we have a uh, queen of pentacles in the um upright position and we have the ace of pentacles in the upright position for you so what's happening here for you in the outcome is spirit do you want to bring forward the outcome for cancer from now to the end of uh september um so these two cards belong together uh spirit wants me to read the eight of swords first um eight of swords uh whatever you have been through cancer in your in the, that the hurt pain sorrow that you're carrying these limitations that you're carrying the the events that have experiences that have entrapped you and um, that have ha ha created this massive shift of consciousness within you, uh, you're now letting the hurt and pain go. You're letting it go. It's in the outcome and it's going to happen in the month. Uh, it's, it's happening now and it's happening throughout the month of September. You are absolutely letting it go. The energy that you're gonna come into is this energy right here of hopeful expectation. 28, the number 10, the number one, uh, looking after number one. Um, and as you, um, as you receive, you begin to learn to accept the abundance that is coming to you. Look at, I mean, there's just so much abundance in your energy here, both spiritually, physically, uh, mentally. Um, that doesn't even make sense. Spirit, give me, clarify it, clarify this abundance. We got the Queen of Pentacles. When I pulled the Queen of Pentacles, I needed a clarity card. And what I got was the Ace of Pentacles. Um, Spirit, do you want to go ahead and explain these cards to me in the outcome? Can you explain what you mean by abundance in all areas? Um, so Cancer, what's happening is that you are uh, finally in a place where um trust is returning trust trust in others trust in the process trust in re-engaging is happening um you are trusting that there is good to be had and and that um uh that you're you're restoring your faith in humanity you're restoring your faith in people. 
you're restoring your faith in family, in love, in um, connections. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of healing that has taken place in your life and you're stepping into this very kind of still humble, still kind of held back, but you're allowing people to give. That's very hard for you to receive cancer and it's showing up right here. But, you know, it, it you know, spirit is saying your cup runneth over. Um, there's so much about to come into your energy, Cancer. Um, for those, Spirit what makes me feel here, for those of you in regards to occupation, uh, let's put that over here. Those of you that are making a decision about occupation, what's going to happen here is that when you choose the one that brings you joy, uh, there will be an abundance of energy, uh, abundance, a flow of energy, a flow of income and a flow of emotions uh, coming to you and you going to it. The flow is back, Cancer. The flow is back. You're back in your flow. You're back in your juju. Um, J-U-J-U. -J -U. So this all looks really positive. This is a very beautiful reading. Uh, oh, I forgot one of the outcomes here. We have Spirit of the Wheel, the Spirit of the Wheel deck. And Spirit brought out for you, uh, we have the number 25, which is seven, Ducks Fly Moon. And in this card, Spirit is making me feel here that your life is now taking on a new direction. Uh, you are um, moving heavily, quickly, swiftly into your future. Emotions remain hidden. You're doing this somewhat covertly. I don't feel like people around you that are, that know you are, there's levels. So there's there's people in, in your immediate circle. There's a couple and then a couple of people. And then there's your periphery of like best friends, close people. And then there's friends and acquaintances, right? Kind of like rings of people around you. And it feels like people that are not immediately in your daily kind of conversation where you're not having daily con contact with them. It feels here that they are un unaware of the speed of how you're moving forward in your life. Again, a little bit of this energy of the mental energy where you don't feel a need to explain yourself. And then you've got the peanut gallery saying, hey, cancer, I haven't spoken to you in a month and all this change has happened. What the hell? Like you, you've been through a lot, you know, you need to slow things down, right? And you're just kind of saying, whatever, I'm just getting on with it. So here we have synchronicity, balance, certainty. And what I love about this energy is that you're leaving behind hurt and pain. You're leaving behind doubt. You're leaving behind indecision and you're stepping into a force to be reckoned with. You're a force to be reckoned with, Cancer. Um, and that is, that is your outcome. You are a force to be reckoned with. So, uh, that's your reading, um, uh, somewhat more normal than your last reading. So I hope this resonates with you. Thank you to everybody that looked at that last reading. That was so insane, that August reading and, um, you know, resonated with it. It, it really touched my heart that you guys um, left me feedback and it is important to get the feedback, especially when I get those crazy readings because it makes me not want to do the reading. <laughs> it makes me not want to post it. I'll do the reading, but it makes me not want to post it. So thank you to everybody that it, that reading resonated with and were brave enough to leave me a comment. Uh, for those of you that this reading resonates with and you leave me comments, you know, it always, always is such a special thing. And um, uh, again, thank you. Thank you for your support. And hey, have a good September. See you soon.